in arithmetic ability the topic is average so i'll explain you this topic first including all the important points or some shortcut tricks then uh, i will discuss one of the model paper so if you observe here this is the paper for all the computer exams which will come in the previous examination point of view so all the important questions from this average topic now this uh, model papers and all you can download directly from the website which I am showing here foundationforiit.com so if you click uh, there is a link in description below you click on that and you will redirect to this website not only that from this website ICSC, CBSC, SSC and intermediate all the type of uh, material class 6 to class uh, 12 including all subjects all the information and material you can download free of cost directly you can link click the link in the description below then there is options of class wise and these are the model papers so one paper I will show you so other papers also you can directly download from this site fine now let us start the topic of average first of all what is average so average is measure used to know about any data and to compare with the another data now for example a person got some marks in Telugu if you take two subjects Telugu got 30 marks out of 50 and in English he got just 40 marks out of 50 now Average is a measure used to know about any data and compare with another data. Now, when you're comparing this both, we need to find out average. So, average I'm taking AVG. So, to get the average of this, this both data will add 30 plus 40 and divide by 2 because 2 are the subjects here. here. That is 70 by 2, 35. So, 35 is average. Now, so we can write the formula for this so average is sum of observations now here marks some other examples they give or uh, they will give some other informations like uh, kgs weight uh, milligram anything is given also we can take first sum so sum of observations so here two observations right so 30 plus 40 I took sum of observations by the number of observations sum of observations by number of observations is average uh, we'll take an example find the average of find the average of 3 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 9 comma 12 so these are the six numbers are given so here n is equal to 6 so n is nothing but number of observations therefore if you want to find out the average of this, we'll add all the observations. That means sum of the observations. Sum is nothing but addition. Now 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 9 plus 12. The which are the data is given that all we need to add divided by number of observations are 6. Then if you calculate this, you'll get the average. So that is uh, 8, 14. 23, 30, 42. So sum is 42 by 6. 6, 7 is 42. So 7 is the average. Now based on this average, you can see two important points. The first one is average is between minimum and maximum values. Always average lies in between minimum and maximum value so if you observe this previous example your answer is 7 
now in this data minimum is 3 maximum is 12 so answer should be between these only so between the minimum and maximum values only average will come then average depends on all observations of the data so it depends on all observations that means every observation will include in this that's what it you know it depends on all observations and the measure is used to comparison is nothing but average so we will compare the data is nothing but average here right now there are 10 important points that means there are nothing but shortcut for average type of questions so i'll tell you important points these points you remember clearly then it's easy for you to solve the exercise or any examination point of your questions from the average now let us discuss the important points these are nothing but shortcut formulas let us see the average of first n natural numbers so instead of using directly average formula sum of the observations by number of observations we will use some of these shortcut tricks so I'll write you first the list of the formulas then you'll see the model paper one on example from each point each uh, shortcut trick the average of first n natural numbers is equals to n plus 1 by 2 let us take example find the average of first to 10 natural numbers for example average of first 10 natural numbers that is 10 plus 1 by 2 so 11 by 2 that is 5 and half is average so instead of adding all the first natural numbers and divide by 10 we can use this n plus 1 by 2 formula next average of first even natural numbers the average of first n even natural numbers first n even natural numbers that is n plus 1 let me show you an example first n even natural numbers for example first 5 even natural actually first five even natural numbers are you can take that means 5 plus 1 answer is 6 should come then if you take the even numbers 2 4 6 8 10 so these are the first five even natural numbers now this average is equals to n plus 1 that is equal to 5 plus 1 6 should come so 6 is the first 5 even natural numbers average now let us see this example with average formula average is equal to sum by number of durations number of durations are 5 now if you add this all 10 20 30 by 5 30 by 5 is 6 that means instead of doing this average uh, formula directly can use remember formula to find out the answer that's what these are the shortcut uh, tricks and say so average of first and even natural numbers is n plus 1 the average of first n odd natural numbers
the average of first n odd natural numbers is equals to n. So n itself is answer. For example, first to seven odd natural numbers average is seven only. Next, this is important. The average of first the average of first n multiples first n multiples of a a is a number n is a number is equals to a into n plus 1 by 2 a into n plus 1 by 2 okay let us see one example for this question this uh, formula first n multiples of a for example find the average of first four multiples of six so first four multiples of six are six twelve eighteen 24 so these are the first four multiples of 6 now this average is according to formula a into n plus 1 so 6 into 4 plus 1 by 2 that is 2 1 zero, 2 3 zero. 3 into 4 plus 1 is 5 so we are getting 15 if you use the average formula sum of durations by number of durations now you can add this 6 plus or you should add that is 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 by 4 so you're getting 15 okay so directly can apply formula the average of First n multiples of a is a into n plus 1 by 2. Now, let us see one more. The average of squares of first n natural numbers. the average of squares of first n natural numbers that is equals to n plus 1 2n plus 1 n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 this we can denote with sigma and square ok only average is asking so we can remove this uh, term so n is not required because divide by n n is cancel yeah so this is the formula n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 the average of squares of first n natural numbers uh, let us see this formula also for example squares of first n natural numbers now they are asking 1 square 2 square 3 square 4 square 5 square average is dash now if you want to find out the average of this you need to add all these numbers and divide by 5 so this is our uh, formula method now if you use this shortcut trick for that 
first you'll find out using shortcut method and you'll check with this answer n natural numbers first squares are first n natural numbers you know five squares are first five natural numbers i took that is five plus one n plus one is five plus one into two n plus one that is two five is a ten plus one by six so six into eleven by six six is get cancelled we're getting eleven fine this is a formula now let us check this uh, with this formula also one square is one two square is four three square nine four square is sixteen five square is twenty five by five so okay if you add all this this is so uh, 20 30 45 what you getting 5 30 okay can add all these numbers now 1 plus 4 is 5 5 plus 9 is 14 14 plus 16 30 30 plus 25 is 55 55 by 5 that is 11 right so you'll get same 11 is here and the same 11 so mostly we can remember the shortcut is easy to solve the problems instead of using directly average concept one more next one Average of cubes of first n natural numbers. Average of cubes of first n natural numbers. The formula is n plus 1 whole square by 4 so this formula you can apply for average of cubes of first n natural numbers similar like squares so you can solve that Okay, now next uh, method, these are the formulas, the next is on the shortcut trick. If the average of, for example, they will give the combination of average of, for example, average of 3 numbers is 6 and average of 5 numbers is 10, then what is the total average? So, like that questions. If the average of n1 observation c is x1 n1 observation average is x1 then if the n2 observation c is some x2 fine then average of the total observations Average of total observations that means n1 plus n2 is equal to dash that is n1 into x1 plus n2 into x2 by n1 plus n2. So, combination if they asked, we can solve in this method. For example, Ten observations average is five and fifteen observations average is twenty five. Then now we can take ten into five plus fifteen into twenty five by ten plus fifteen. So this like this uh, direct formula you apply can solve. One more 
few more are there just to listen this the average of even numbers from 1 to n so instead of uh, first n even natural numbers or n odd natural numbers you have seen previous now the average of even numbers from 1 to n is equals to first even number plus last even number by 2 so I just same like we did know previous first even number is 1 last even number is n by 2 n plus 1 by 2 The average of even numbers will come. Similarly, the average of odd numbers 1 to n is first odd number plus last odd number by 2. First even number. This first even and last nth even. Otherwise, you can write like this. First even number plus last even number and by 2. Similarly, the average of odd numbers from 1 to n. The average of odd numbers from 1 to n. That is equal to same first to odd number plus last odd number divided by 2. I okay. will give an example, you will get a lot more clarity. For example, uh, find the average of odd numbers from 20 to 30 so between 20 to 30 first two odd number is 21 plus before 30 last odd number is 29 so first odd number plus last odd number by 2 odd number that means not even 21 plus 29 50 by 2 that is equal to 25 okay 25 is the average of odd numbers from 1 to n so this is the way we can make so up to here the important points from the average now I'll give you two more formulas, which are related uh, between distance, speed, time. Okay, let me give. If the distance traveled at uh, different speeds are not equal, then average is. For example, first let me write formula. If the distance traveled the distance traveled at different speeds at different speeds are not equal for example first 10 kilometers in some speed and next 10 kilometers in some different speed so like this type of questions if they're not equal then average speed total distance will add first that is d1 plus d2 plus 
d3 plus so on up to dn how many distance are that many all divide by d1 by x1 because there is a speed within time interval distance by time plus d2 by x2 plus d3 by x3 plus so on dn by xn the speed will come in kilometer per hour according to the question Similarly, next one more from this. If equal distance are traveled at rate of a kilometer per hour and b kilometer per hour, then average speed. Okay, this also this is important. Most of the questions will come from this. If equal distance are traveled, okay, first I'll write formula, then I'll give an example. If equal distances are traveled. If equal distance are traveled at the rate of one is some a speed a kilometer per hour and b kilometer per hour then average speed during the whole journey during the whole journey is 2ab by a plus b let me give an example question related to this formula For example, a vehicle is traveled from A to B with 10 km per hour speed, one direction. Again, same B to A, reverse journey is 20 km per hour. Then what is the average speed? So average means directly should not add 20 plus 20, 10 plus 20 by 2, that's wrong. So distance is same, distance is not changed. Now this is A and this is B. One journey is 10 km per hour and one journey is 20 km per hour. Then average speed is equals to 2AB. 2 into 10 into 20 by 10 plus 20. Okay, this we need to solve. So 2 into 10 into 20 by 30. 10 ones are 10 threes. 40 by 3 this is kilometer per hour so 40 by 3 kilometer per hour is a average speed if you write in uh, decimals or mix fraction so 13 1 by 3 13 1 by 3 is the average so generally if you take 10 plus 20 by 2 you get 15 right so that is not correct so whenever the distance speed time based uh, average questions if they will give equal distance then 2ab by a plus b is the formula to find out the average speed now that regarding one geometric mean also i will give you a simple question the geometric mean gm so you will see in progressions this topic all clearly in that the geometric mean of a1 comma a2 comma a3 comma so on an is given by nth root of a1 into a2 into a3 into so on an this is geometric mean 
for example find the geometric mean of one comma three comma nine so one comma three comma nine geometric mean you ought to find out now according to formula here n is equal to three right that is then geometric mean is equals to cube root of 1 into 3 into 9 that is cube root of 27 cube root of 27 is 3 because 27 you can write 3 cube okay that is cube root of 27 is 3 power 3 3 and cube root get cancelled answer is 3 fine so these are the geometric mean Now these are the important uh, concepts, formulas from this average. Now based on these important points, now let us see one model paper. I will show you. Yeah. This is one sample paper which are in any point of exams. In any examination point of view, the questions will come from average like this. So it's very any competitions. You can see. So not only this, uh, some other papers are also available. You can go to this site and download all the model papers which are coming from previous examinations. Now let us see the questions one by one. First paper I will discuss, then other papers uh, you can download directly from the site. The average of m comma n comma o comma a comma v comma c. So this average is nothing but sum of the observations by number of observations, right? So second, m plus n plus o plus a plus b plus c by 6. Direct uh, question. Second one, the average of 10.8, comma 31.92, comma 21.06, comma 45 is. So there is no, this is not even or odd natural numbers or not square numbers. Direct formula only should apply so 10.8 31.92 21.06 45 four numbers we need to add first then divide by four so four numbers if I add and divide by four you get the answer so how to add the decimal numbers see this question so that four numbers are 10.8 and 31.92 21.06 under the point point should write 21.06 and 45 so 40 only 45 is given so 40 point 45.00 you take so gaps you can fill with zeros that is say 8 this is 0 right so 17 6 7 8 4 10 108.78 now average is equals to sum by number that means sum of the observations by number of observations 108.78 by 4 now if you simplify this 24 to the 8, 28, 27.195 will come. Do division. 27.195. Yes. Next, the average of 11, 22, 33, 44. 55, 66, 77. This is nothing but multiples of 11, right? Multiples of 11, how many times? 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, 6 only. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 multiples of 11. 
third one find the average of 7 multiples of 11 so this is nothing but according to the question now when asking the multiples formula I gave you one so in the important formulas I mentioned a into n plus 1 by 2 so multiples of 11 so 11 into 7 plus 1 by 2 11 into 8 by 2 4 44 yes. Middle number is all getting like this. The average of one square, comma, two square, comma, three square, comma, so on, twenty five square. This is average of squares of first n natural numbers formed squares of first n natural numbers hope you remembered that is n plus 1 this is a formula n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 now n is equal to 25 because 25 squares n is equal to 25 so if you apply One square comma two square comma so on twenty five square. So average is n plus one into two n plus one by six. So here n is equals to twenty five. If you apply twenty five plus one two into twenty five plus one two into twenty five is fifty. 50 plus 1 by 6 so 26 into 51 by 6 you can cancel 2 3s are 2 13s are again 3 table 3 1s are 3 1s are 3 21 17 and then 13 17s are so 221 Yes. So if you can remember the important points and shortcut tricks, easily we can solve this. Next one, the average of natural numbers from 1 to 100. Average of natural numbers from 1 to 100. So first formula. So I said n plus 1 by 2. Direct you can write n plus 1 by 2 is a formula n is 100 100 plus 1 by 2 101 by 2 is equals to 50 50.5 yeah. let's see one more yeah your direct question is given sixth one the average of first 35 multiples of 6 okay the average of first n multiples of a n multiples of a the formula is a into n plus 1 by 2 so according to this 6 into n plus 1 35 plus 1 36 by 2 2 ones are 2 threes are so 3 into 36 if you multiply that is the average of First 35 multiples of 6 instead of doing everything. 108. So 108 is the average of first 35 multiples of 6. So similarly, most of the questions <coughs> we need to use the property or the formula. Next one, the average of even numbers from 1 to 100. First even number 
plus last even number by 2 we can make the average of even numbers from 1 to 100 in 1 to 100 first even number is 2 last even number is 100 itself by 2 102 by 2 is 51 51 is the average of even numbers from 1 to 100 <coughs> similarly see this 8 also the average of odd numbers from 1 to 100 so odd numbers from 1 to 100 so 1 plus the first odd number is 1 and before 100 odd number is 99 by 2 100 by 2 is equal to 50 so 50 is the answer okay. not only properties some conditional questions also will come Let's see this next one the average of 56 numbers is 24 if 3 is subtracted from each number then the new average is dash so without doing directly can take the average of 56 numbers is 24 if 3 is subtracted from each then 24 minus 3 because 3 is subtracting from every number so automatically the average also 3 number will become less ok so 21 is this need not to calculate any numbers the average is 24 and 3 subtract from each number they mention each number here the average of a comma next one a comma a plus 1 comma a plus 3 a plus 5 a plus 7 is 12 then find the value of a then we can do sum of observations by number of number of observations and we can solve this so num number are 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 numbers a comma so average is equals to sum of observations by number of observations a sum is a plus a plus 1 plus a plus 3 a plus 5 a plus 7 a plus 3 a plus 5 and a plus 7 and number of durations are 5 1 2 3 4 5 now this answer is given the average is nothing but 12 then find the value of a this is 12 that is given 12 now you can simplify how many a's are there 1 2 3 4 5 so 5a plus numbers you can add 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 5 9 9 plus 7 16 by 5 is equals to 12 5a plus 16 is equals to 12 6 12 5 is a 16 5a is equals to 60 minus 16 44 then a is equals to 44 by 5 so we'll get 8.8 .8. so sum of observations by number of observations formula only should apply like these questions 8.8 .8. here one more interesting question the average mark of ABC is 35 the average marks of BCD is 36 if A got 31 marks then the marks get by D this is dash so you get print correctly so then marks of get by D is dash directly
so this uh, option is not there here okay let us see the next one if the average of six consecutive even numbers is 91 then least among them average of six consecutive numbers is 91 then the least number consecutive to even numbers so even numbers means you should take even number is 90 6 consecutive so you can take in order that means 86 88 90 92 94 96 now this average is middle of them now here is the average so 91 is average then in that least among them is uh, 86 because even numbers only should come next year the time related question the average of 6 hours 20 minutes comma 3 hours 40 minutes And 8 hours is dash so 6 hours 20 minutes plus everything you can add that is 6 hours 20 minutes plus 3 hours 40 minutes plus 8 hours now if you add everything you'll get total 18 hours by options are 3 so 6 because 6 hours plus here 3 hours 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 8, 17, and 20 minutes, 40 minutes is 1 hour. So 18 hours by 3 is 6. Now, next question is the combination question. The average of 16 numbers is 92, while the average of another 16 numbers is 29. What is the combined average? So, combined average formula is said given n1 x1 plus. Yeah, n2 x2 by n1 plus n2 that means 16 is n1 92 is x1 average of another 16 n2 and average is x2 now if you apply formula for this I'll take whiteboard n1 into x1 plus n2 into x2 by n1 plus n2 so according to question 16 numbers average is 92 16 numbers average is 92 another 16 numbers average is um, 29 then find the overall average that is 16 into 92 plus again 16 into 29 by 16 plus 16 you take 16 common 92 plus 29 16 plus 16 is 2 into 16 okay for cancellations I took like this 92 plus 29 121 by 2 so 60.5 60.5 is the average of this 60.5 yeah okay few more questions I'll tell you the details of daily rainfall in centimeters in a week are given what is the average rainfall of the week so average is nothing but we'll add all this uh, week base numbers by how many observations are given here so number of observations are 2.9 2.8 4.2 3.3 3.7 4.6 and 3.7 so seven days rainfall 
we'll add this all these numbers and divide by 7. So 2 point 9, 2 point 8, 4 point 2, 3 point 3, 3 point 7, 4 point 6, 3 point 7. Okay, by adding these all numbers, if you add 17, you get 25 point 2. Now average is equals to 25.2 by 7 so 7 3 is a 21 42 6 so 3.6 so average is always will come between maximum and minimum values now this is a time distance related question I give you one formula also in a journey of 160 kilometers, a train covers distance of 120 kilometers at speed of 80 km per hour, remaining distance at 40 km per hour. Find the average speed. So average speed formula. Okay, let me take the board and explain. So when the problems will come from later to this journey of 160 kilometers, train cover distance 120 at the speed of 80 and remaining is at 40. Okay, two distances. Like distance one and distance two. So two cases. Distance one is first 120 kilometers. Total 160 remaining is uh, 40 kilometers. The second distance. Now distance 1 speed is x1. That is 80 km per hour. Next speed is given. I am taking x2. 40 km per hour is given. Now question is average speed. The same distance, one formula I gave you, different distances and one more formula. So if the for this different distances, so different distances is formula is d1 plus d2 by d1 by x1 plus d2 by x2. Now total distance 120 plus 40 divided by so distance by speed, nothing but time will come. D1 by X1, that is 120 by 80, 40 by 40. 120 plus 40 is 160 by 0, 0, 4, 2, 0, 4, 3, 0. 3 by 2 plus 1. Simplify denominator 160 divided by 2 is LCM 3 plus 2 160 by 5 by 2 that is equals to 160 into 2 by 5 5 3 is a 15 32 so 64 Okay. Average speed is 64 km per hour. For example, same distance and uh, different speeds means I said you 2ab by a plus b formula so that you can see that the same distance. The answer is 64, uh, 64 km per hour. Then average of 9 numbers is 6. If each number is multiplied by 10, then what is the average of new set of numbers? Average of 9 numbers is 6. We give 6. Every number is multiplied by 6 means average also should be multiplied by 6. So that is 6 into 10. 60. 
okay direct you can take like this next the average of 0 3 5 7 comma x is 8 x also a number is 8 and find the value of x that means 0 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus x by number of operations are 5 is equal to 8 you simplify this 3 plus 5 is 8 15 plus x is equal to 8 5 is a 14 take this away. then x is equals to 25 okay same average formula only I'll apply and do it okay these are the questions from exercise 1 practice exercise 1 problems similarly there is exercise 2 also so not only exercise 1 2 many questions are there many papers are there and these all the papers you can directly download from the website which I mentioned including solutions also you can uh, go through in that uh, these are the questions you can see and from even from two also most of the questions are using the same concept if you see this uh, some problems I'll show you in this also the average of first nine integral multiples of three yeah. so far now you remember right a into n plus one by two that is three into nine plus one by two that is three into ten by two two five three five is fifteen Okay, 15 is the answer and temperature questions are given some of them the average uh, next one the average temperature of the first three days of a week is 40 degrees centigrade and the next three days is 42 if the weekly average is 40.5 what is the temperature on the last day of the week so here first three days and next three days last day of the week only you have to find out for example if you take first three means monday tuesday wednesday last three is thursday friday saturday then sunday that means last last day of the week means sunday you have to find out okay. let me explain the second one you will see here average of first three days so I'm taking first three days Monday Tuesday Wednesday by three first three days divided by three is equals to 40 that means sum of the Monday Tuesday plus Wednesday is equals to 14 to 3 120 next Thursday Friday and Saturday next three days next three days average is 42 okay they only mentioned 42 average is 40.5 that is different so that means some of the Thursday, Friday, Saturday is 42 into 3, 126. First three days uh, total temperatures is 120. Next three days total temperature is 126. Now overall average. That means Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday plus Thursday plus Friday plus Saturday plus Sunday also by 7 is equals to 40.5 according to the question okay 40.5 is the overall average then as from the first equation second equation first to three days sum is 120 next three days is 126 plus sunday is equals to 40.5 into 7 7 if you take this way 
120 plus 126 is 246 plus Sunday's temperature is equals to 40.5 into 7. You can multiply directly. 283.5. Then Sunday's temperature is equals to 283.5 minus 246. That's 37.5. So if they will give combination also, we can apply the same concept and same formula. Okay, the next one also similar question is given here. So the average of nine numbers is fifty. The average of first five, fifty-four, and last three numbers is fifty-two. Then find out six number. So if you make the steps, you will come clearly. Okay, just you can uh, refer the important points once again and you can solve this uh, papers. Fine. Okay, now all the model papers you can download from this uh, website directly. And most thing is you just to subscribe this channel in case if you did not do because you will upload only educational videos in this channel. So completely regarding educational concern. And especially this site, you can download the model papers for free of cost and you can prepare well. So, I hope you understood well this average. You can see other videos for other informations. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.